my grandmother and my mum um, had sewn and I'd always just watched her make my clothes. So I guess it just kind of was passed on. Um, my great grandmother was a seamstress, so it was this family tradition. My mum would say that I took very much the scenic route <laughs> to where I am. I did. Uh, I was into art at school, and I was into contemporary dance. I then did an undergraduate in sculpture at Camberwell. Um, I was introduced to performance art. That was the first time. And then I was also in this neo burlesque anarchic feminist can-can troupe uh, and we did really well. We toured to Japan, went to Fiji Rock Festival. Um, but it was actually after I had my oldest daughter, quite young, that was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life um, and how I'd support us both. Um, and I think it must have been that new mother baby brain logic that I thought costume design was the most sensible career for a lone parent. And it wasn't until I started teaching that I was able to take more creative risks with my work. Um, and that's also when I met my main collaborator, Valentina. Chesky and Lane are myself and Valentina Chesky, who's an Italian theatre maker, a director, movement practitioner. And I think we always wanted to change our name as the work evolved and moved more towards having a social justice purpose and beyond just the fantastical. I think we wanted to move away from Aldous Huxley connotations, although certainly the work still has some embedded references to science fiction and you can see the post-human in our costumes for confinement. The best way to describe our work is expanded performance, sitting somewhere between theatre, performance art and dance. The costume body is a central focus and a methodology really involves a material intelligence with embedded knowledge of movement, having a sort of conversation. Our first project, Utopia, was a real learning curve with how to construct and explore the design as this central dramaturgical linchpin in the performance. It was also where we started to think about performance as multi-platformed with a series of short films which explored the materiality of our costume and also created expanded character arts for these abstracted forms and wearables. Our project Greenham really cemented for us the broader reach that politically and socially costume-led performances can have in reviving but also evoking memories. Confinement came from a collective shared experience between myself and Valentina over the COVID lockdowns in 2020. Valentina and myself both had our second children. Valentina in January and me in July both had to navigate lockdowns during our pregnancy or with the newborns. There are 15 year age gap between my two daughters. I'm older and not a single parent this time round, but I really noticed the support for new mothers has really dropped in the last 15 years and that the pandemic really feels like a tipping point. We wanted to create a platform for these birth parents to be seen, to be heard and to be represented and for their recent lived experience to be given space, a time for them to come together and for us to make something for them. So the handmaids were our doulas, our midwives, the family, the community for the, for the pregnant. Although we didn't have a literal pregnant form, they wrapped this in our head. One of the workshop participants were really suggested that they should be clothed in medical scrubs, but for us that felt too literal. We didn't want to situate them in a particular time or place. The goddesses actually grew out of some of our creative development and the project during the R&D. Uh, we collectively did a free writing exercise envisioning our experiences of lockdown within the guise of a deity. What would they look like? What would their offering be? It was initially in reference to Liz Berry's poem, The Republic of Motherhood. She refers to Our Lady of Birth Trauma and Our Lady of Psychosis. And the final form seen for the audience was my visions of these sort of Our Ladies of Lockdown. Um, they were the opposite of the same being. This form in the performance came out of the hut, having previously been in the, the performer in the priestess's costume, who then transformed from her confinement into this form and accompanied and was accompanied by a more literal interpretation of COVID as a headpiece. This costume form was referring to my postnatal preeclampsia, which I was diagnosed with after I gave birth. My diagnosis was uh, missed due to the few antenatal um, appointments and lots of tests that were lost, which was a result of the strain on the health system um, during the pandemic. 
What we were aiming for with the costumes was expanded and abstracted internal feelings of transition, an explanation of the uncanny and unsettling experience of transfiguration in the borderless state of the maternal body, and, and also referencing this almost post-human experience of transformation of the self to another in birth all within this context of confinement. We'd love to tour this work further. I think this is part of a much larger conversation or one that needs to be talked about further. I'm also personally really interested in ideas around post-humanism, the mother's body uh, and that state of transformation that we only really touched on with this project. Mm -hmm.